hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking this video on today's episode i'm going to be sharing with you guys the things that i did to avoid tearing so stay tuned if it's something you want to watch so if you're watching this video you're probably wondering probably pregnant or about to deliver in your like every woman out there you're terrified about vaginal tearing also known as epc to me yes guys i know because i was once that woman so when i was pregnant with my first child one of the things i was most afraid of was vaginal tearing or episiotomy so guys for those people that don't know about what it is it's just like a cord you can give it to you medically by the doctor down the vagina right you can just look it up and it's a traumatic experience obviously i can't imagine having a cord down there and i read about people saying that it makes postpartum healing so traumatic and way more painful so i was literally hoping and praying not to have that so i did some research and asked my doctor about how what i what and what i can do naturally to decrease the chance of tearing during breath during delivery so i implemented some of these things um i've given birth to both both my kids without having vaginal tearing so i'm about to spill all the tea it wasn't just what i did it was also what my doctor did during the labor and delivery so it's kind of a two-part thing i did my part before i went into labor and my doctor did his part during active labor and me pushing out the baby so let's get into the things that i did i like to state that i am no way an expert i'm just sharing my experience with hopes that it might give you a guideline and possibly help you out please be sure to discuss these things with your doctor and get an okay the first thing that i do and i swear by is perineal massage guys so you can look up a video about how it's done but i do so by this i usually start around 36 weeks with this one i love to do it in the shower that way my body is all warmed up and ready for the massage so you do this right you're going to you're going to observe the difference between when you started and like four three weeks in the second thing that i usually do is using oils okay, so after i'm done with the shower um around 36 weeks still I start inserting some oils, some natural oils, right? You can use vitamin E oil, you can use primrose oil, and I also did get a particular oil from my doctor's office. He had like a dedicated serum kind of oil that's safe to use down there. I start to use this oil, I start to insert the, um, the primrose oil vaginally every day, and I use the oil the doctor gave me, and the outward. It's kind of private ish, but I'm sharing all the tea for you guys. Yeah, so I do this starting pesticides week up until when I go into labor. It's not scientifically proven, I have to say this, right? But it has worked for me. The idea is that these oils have the power to like gradually moisturize the area and get it to be more um, elastic, right? The third thing I do to get ready, you know, or to reduce my chances of tearing is having a lot of what do you call it? What do Instagram people call it? Sex. <laughs> I find it very weird. I have a lot of intercourse, guys. So I try to be sexually active starting 36 weeks till the day I give birth because apparently it helps down there, get ready for the whole pushing and delivering of the baby. I heard it can also make you go into labor. Oh, yeah. So coming to what the doctor does when I'm actually in the activity of pushing out the baby, right? So he he does um, counter pressure. So let's see, I think I have this here. So let's say that this is the vagina. Obviously, when you're fully dilated, it's bigger than this. But just like for instance, it's the vagina. This is where, this is the place that we tear. So if you're pushing on the baby and there's a kind of a support, a counter pressure pushing on this part, there's a likelihood that you're not going to tear. As opposed to just no, but nothing is happening and you're just pushing. The other thing that he also does when I'm pushing out the baby is to use his hands to try to, you know, stretch the muscles of the vagina at that time. You know, he generally when the baby's head is already coming out, he kind of by, he uses his hands to stretch it around the baby's head. You know, it helps generally. The third thing that he also does is use of um, oils, and it's usually warm, guys warm oil which he also uses when he's trying to massage so he uses the oil to further try to make the baby's head slippery decrease the likelihood of tearing the other thing that he also does for me is um, he advises me to slow down with the pushing so let's say this is the vagina right 
if you push because i see in the movie like push push once push it out and you're like wow right <laughs> i'm sorry it's really dramatic so my doctor doesn't tell me to push that way he tells me to push and he's like okay wait let your body stretch out on it and he's down there doing the whole stretching out with his finger and the warm all and he's like okay we're going to push with the next contraction you know we don't push you know um we don't aim to push once and like you know bear down and maybe right so that's another thing if you give your body enough time you find out that your body has enough time to like um stretch and open up and you know there is a decreased chance please be sure to discuss these things with your doctor and get an okay and you know try it out they are all natural there's no there's no harm in trying thank you so much for watching this video to the end please click the like and share button and please if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe for more videos like this